least that's not made of wool. Must be all sorts of hidden water systems in this place. I know I've been prickly, okay, but Jesse, I think something's wrong with Gabriel. I mean, you have to have noticed the lack of energy, the labored breathing. I, I wish I could tell you, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. Wait, talk about what? Jesse, if I'm right about this, you have to tell me. It's not fooling anybody. At least not me. Now you're just imagining things. Let's hope so. worried about you. Uh, I kind of need to get at that lever you're blocking. Fine. That wasn't too hard, was it? Walking one foot to the left? Nope. I think I got that covered. Gabriel, hey! Lucas knows something. How much of something? He sees you're not feeling well. I'm trying to keep up. But alas, I grow weaker by the hour. Any idea why Soren would build something like this? Soren was always strange and secretive. a secret mechanism to open said door. How do you think Soren managed to get out of here without leaving any clues behind? Master Builder. Very secretive. I guess I'm gonna keep looking around. Hey, Reuben. <laughs> you doing okay, buddy? <laughs> High five, Reuben. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be looking for something, Reuben. Any idea what? <laughs> What's that, boy? You see something over there? Well, I'm gonna keep looking. Everyone, I think I found Soren's way out. Great. Now on to Weirdo Loop in three, two, one. I, I wish I could have been of more assistance. When I think back to my glory days, I was so strong, so capable. 
Gabriel, don't apologize, really. Uh, well... Thank you, Jesse. We'll see what we can find in the rest of the house. I just hope we don't discover Soren as he's getting ready for bed. He's wore the most... revealing bathroom. The water system isn't just for the outside. Not that the outside was actually the outside. You could fit hundreds of people in here, but it doesn't look like it's being used for much of anything. louder. I don't hear anyone talking in there. Let's see what's going on behind this door. closer to Soren than before. Well, this record didn't turn on by itself. Huh, good point. I guess he really likes the sound of his own voice then. But, uh, Maybe there's something useful well, in this record. Our next step we can figure out what he's talking they might be able to be persuaded to build collaboratively. Hmm. I've worked up a simple set of building instructions to inspire them. <laughs> I will disguise myself and hide among them in order to observe them more closely. Huh. Hmm. Hide among I do a new Hide among who? Off. Uh, Jesse, do you think Soren is talking about them? <laughs> then again, everything else about this guy has been pointing to crazy. I guess everybody needs hobbies, even if they are really, really, really dangerous. Do you think he's actually training Enderman to build stuff? I think he thinks he's training Enderman to build stuff. Let's look around, see what we could find out. Calls of the Enderman. Observations Part 27. I've been watching the Endermen up close today, and I'm convinced that I may have caught them communicating. Or, at the very least, two of them stood near each other for an extended period. It was very exciting. Then... Totemic Constructions of Peaceful Endermen. Hmm. Could Endermen be implored to work together? Or are they like sheep in pigs, wandering randomly and doing things based on whim rather than higher thought processes? I've already decided that only Endermen at peace build structures. When agitated, such as yesterday, they don't seem to have any interest in building things, only hitting me with their fists. The Folly of Pumpkins? Wearing a pumpkin may stop the Endermen from attacking you, but I remain convinced it is also altering their behavior, as if their preternatural knowledge of my presence keeps them from revealing their true nature. Therefore, I have 
now become the fashion a camouflage Olivia, suit check it out. that will allow me to An meet Enderman the monkey feared for suit? inscrutable creature. Either Soren's got a very unique fashion sense or... Burning his boats Wait a second! This must be the disguise Soren was talking about in the recording. In order to walk amongst the Enderman, you have to become an Enderman. Ugh, I smell like one, apparently. Woof! Stinky, but it fits. Ugh, more than kind of stinky, I'm sorry to say. It's so weird. I know it's you in there, but I still don't want to look at it. can't see me through this glass. something what you got definitely some sort of crafting recipe but why would someone as brilliant as Soren need a recipe for a shape that simple because they're not for Soren they're for the Endermen this must be what he's trying to teach them to build okay so if Soren is using those blueprints to teach the Endermen to build and there's a disguise missing from the stand he must be conducting his experiment right now. Of course! The missing disguise is the one he had to put on before going outside. Which means if we want to get to Soren, well, we have to go out there to do it. I'm no art snob, but meh. Oh, you know that's really creepy, right? Ender suit. I keep wanting to not look at you. It's so disturbing. I'm sorry. You go ahead and build with those Endermen outside. I'll just wait here. Those instructions called for clay blocks, just like this one. This one, too. That's three I've grabbed so far. You find anything useful? <laughs> Worth asking. This one, too. Guess it's hard to get plants to grow in the end.
looks like this is the last block in here. Hang on a second. Soren in disguise looks like any old Enderman, and so will you. How are you going to find him? Walk up to every Enderman out there and say, Hey, are you Soren? The whole point of the disguise is to avoid that kind of attention. We uh, just need to get his attention without riling up the Enderman. Try not to die, okay? I'd really hate to have to watch that from behind this protective glass. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay, we just gotta get Soren's attention and avoid attracting theirs. Take another look at the instructions. Well, nothing I can't handle. One block down, five to go. I just hope that Soren's watching wherever he is. Evidence of Enderman intelligence accomplished. Uh, nothing to see here, guys. Just walk away. Okay, they're not walking away. They're not walking away. I am sorry about this, but it has to look real. I I don't think it'll bruise your face. I these suits were built with durability in mind. You must be Soren. Well, I am. But must I be? I'm not sure if I want to sometimes. Sometimes I'd prefer to be anything but Soren. Like a donkey, for example. Where are the others? Your friends are stomping around, uninvited, making a mess, I'm sure. By the way, as far as introductions are concerned, this is not going very well. Oh, what else is new? Whatever your issue is, whatever your problem, it has occurred before and has been solved before. Even so, what do you need me for? I've gone out of my way to avoid these types of problems. I don't even remember what it looks like up there. I need you to be a hero. Hmm, I see. And what do you think a hero would do in this situation? Hero would give me his formidabomb.
there's a wither storm on the loose and it's eating the world. Ah, I see. You misspoke. You don't need me. You need my stuff. I've found that when you give people what they want, they turn on you. They become resentful. Who turned on you? All of them! It's why I prefer Endermen. They always do what you expect, almost to a fault. You're a stranger. And what you're asking for is too dangerous. I have the amulet. What? Gabriel gave it to me. Gabriel? Gabriel asked me to reassemble the Order of the Stone. The Order of the Stone? They asked for me? I've always known they needed me, but I was never sure if they wanted me. Gabriel is your friend. Hmm, I don't know. Does he ever talk about me? Uh, sure. What kinds of things do they say? Specifically? Give me an example. That you were the best of them. Well, that's very nice to hear. But what about you? Are you my friend? As long as we're on the subject? Sure. <laughs> that's the best thing I've heard in years. Admittedly, it's not a very high bar. Don't worry. I'm going to help you, because that's what friends do. Before we leave, I'm going to give my old friends a gift. The gift of song. Gary may seem scary, but he's a swell guy. Sally dilly-dallies, give her credit, she tries. They might look the same to the untrained eye. happening? But that's a lie, so I say. Wait, is that... are... are, are you... Boring. Whoa. You look terrible. Terribly handsome. <coughs> Hello, old friend. We've been looking for you. Let's go. 